begin with new information on a story that we have been following. Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. I'm Alicia Richard. so glad you're with us. Middletown had its first school board meeting tonight since a student brought a gun to school last week. Daniel Hamburg joins us now live with more. Daniel. Well, Valerie and Alicia, many parents showed up to tonight's school board meeting. About a dozen of them got up to talk about how some of their children are scared to come to school, and a lot of them want to see concrete changes so that bad behavior doesn't go unpunished. These kids are scared. They are scared to come to this school. Scared to come to school after a Middletown middle schooler brought a gun to school last Thursday. About a dozen parents spoke up about it at Tuesday's school board meeting. Metal detectors aren't sounding bad to me. Uh, police presence every morning, if that metal detector goes off, you know, take a wand to the kid, search its backpack, make sure he doesn't have a weapon. Superintendent Dr. Shelton Hunter says police are still investigating, but the gun was loaded and apparently stolen from Swatera Township. Something needs to be done district-wide to get these kids under control or out of our district. Hunter acknowledges continual behavior issues throughout the district that parents brought up all night. We need to toughen up on our discipline for those kids that are frequent flyers to the office, and you know we need to find ways to, to better support those kids. Hunter says he wants to be proactive and implement things such as universal mental health screening for all K-12 students. I want this to be a good school district. The bad kids go, the good kids stay. One of the chief complaints from parents was a lack of consistency throughout the district. Why are we only protecting one school and not all of our schools? That will soon change, making a clear backpack policy for both middle and high schools within the week. So we're going to be meeting with the administrative team um, in the afternoon on Thursday to talk about how we can consistently put those uh, you know, safety measures in place. Hunter says he welcomes the feedback from parents and the district will continue making changes to make the schools safer. And as for the communication issues, the superintendent says they had to focus on the incident before officially giving out all of the details that were still being investigated by police as well. For those who may have not gotten any communication, a phone call or an email, he says to make sure that your information is up to date in their school messenger system. We're live in Lower Swatera Township, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.